Hello and welcome back to The Conversation. We are talking to premier matchmaker Ming Gregory Clark about finding true love. And joining the conversation now is Jermaine Austin. He is new to this whole matchmaking service thing, but says he is keeping an open eye, open heart, open mind, just open to Correct, trying yeah. new things, <laughs> right? Let's talk about, first of all, just, just dating, how you got here, how you decided to go from, all right, let me just try a matchmaking service. Uh, well, it's, it's sort of, I would say, fell into my lap. Um, mm. I met Ming at a an event that I went to mm -hmm. uh, for attorneys, and she was on the opposite side uh, of the room. And so we talked. She told me a little bit about what she did. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I said, why not? I think I at this age, I need help. And you at know? this age, you mean? I am. I just turned 40 okay. uh, in September. All right. Uh, All right. So. Good deal. And so dating has been... Shall we say, in a big city, can be a bit challenging, it right? Can be and a to bit be clear, for women and men, correct. Yeah. So let's correct. talk about the what you're hoping uh, this experience, how it will make it different, or a little easier to navigate, right? Right, right. Uh, so in this experience, I'm not the person doing um, most of the the legwork, right? Mm -hmm. I, I have Ming and I have had constant convers, well, a lot of conversation around uh, likes, dislikes. What I'm looking for, uh, she did tell me I need to be open in terms of, of race, uh, uh, which I decided to unlock that box and be open to it. So let me ask you that. And you say that, have you only dated black women up until this point? Until Correct. Okay. I have only dated black women. I love my black women, but I'm, you know, there's no buts. I, I still love with my whole heart black women. But I do mm. know that sometimes love, you can't control it. Mm -hmm. um, and it falls no matter what race you are or you know, no, matter, no matter who you are. Uh, I did fall in love once and it happened unexpectedly. Mm. And so that's when I realized that you can't really put a finger or determine when it's going to happen or where or with who. And that's a, that was a two year relationship, right? Well, that wasn't my two year. Mm -hmm. um, this one was actually uh, uh, about 10 months, uh, mm -hmm. which was to me, it was a little weird because you never think that you would fall in love with someone in 10 months. And right? that's the fun part about love, exactly. right? You never know exactly how it's going to go. Right. So that's why you said, let me just try a whole different model, right? Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Have you matched yet? No, not yet. I'm hoping that your show <laughs> will bring us <laughs> the perfect match for him. And let me say this also, Portia. Mm -hmm. He is open. So when I'm matching and I'm looking for a match for him, I'm mm -hmm. not ruling out black women. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's who I think he's compatible with, who I think I could see a future with him with, you mm -hmm. know? And so that's what matters. So I'm not ruling out anyone. He it. just gave me the green light. But she does find know I'm picky. Yes. She and <laughs> aren't they all picky, yes. though? And I don't yes. mean by men, yes. but what does that mean when you say mm -hmm. picky? Well, I... Uh, when I'm dating, I, I, I put it into perspective that at this age, I do know what I'm looking for and what I want. Mm -hmm. And so when I say picky, um, I mean that I have a set criteria, not on the person, but what my needs. In, in this terms sounds of my like needs. that list. Is this mm -hmm. that list? This we, is that list. That's what correct. Is, okay, so let's just be. <laughs> this I is think, that list. I'm curious, but that's what matchmakers also have to deal yes. with. What your list looks like versus what yeah. is realistic. Let me th give me just three off the list. I'm curious. Uh, Quality time is important to me, mm -hmm. very important to me. Yeah, it sounds like I've learned that physical touch is important to me. So those you know are your those love are languages. I do know my love languages. Okay. But I also mixed in two other um features that are not part of the love language list, but I that I understand and what are or those? understood that, you know, th these are also things that makes me fall in love. That's unconditional honesty mm -hmm. in a safe environment mm -hmm. and uh, communicating effectively wow. uh, with your partner, mm -hmm. sometimes over communicating. Mm -hmm. How important is it is to have somebody who so very clearly understands what their priorities are and not oh. which restaurant you can take <laughs> me to and what we have to wear, but really the, the yeah, issues that really matter. Yeah. I mean, it is refreshing <laughs> because I deal with a lot of different people who sometimes they don't know what they want. Mm. So we have to start from ground zero <laughs> to right. bring them to where they're really ready to date. And really, how much conversation goes into how uh, just am I ready to date? Right. We it, do a would lot somebody, it, you know, would I date me, so to speak? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that goes into a, um, looking at the other services that I offer, which is coaching. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We may do the coaching. We may do the wingman. I, I need to go out and see what are you doing on these dates? I mean, you've been, <laughs> do you you've, wingman? I wing will woman wing date? woman. Are you going to wing woman date? <laughs> 
I think she'll have to tell me beforehand. Uh, I may get a little scared. And, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. what is, why is Ming watching me? <laughs> right, exactly. I may do that. There's so many different things that we will do, exercises we'll do with the clients to get them ready. And just kind of... Um, I don't say deprogram some of their bad habits, but try yeah. to put in some good stuff. Because I think and that's what I seem to hear mm -hmm. consistently from matchmakers mm -hmm. like yourself is that you really do un need to understand who yeah. you are, yeah. whose you are, and yeah. what matters. Yeah, What's what your important? yeah, what your yeah. non-negotiables are yeah. beyond the the real cool. shallow yeah. things that some people get caught up in. Yeah, it's good they just sometimes in the habits, the yeah. habits that we continue to take onto the, each relationship that Absolutely. we just need to get rid of. <laughs> All right, so stand by. I don't want you folks to go anywhere okay. because get this. Ming is going to reveal the results of her matchmaking survey. I took her test. Yes. I took some tests and we're going to get some results and see oh what gosh, happens yes. when we return. I'm looking forward to hearing All what right. you are Maybe. concluding for me. Maybe we can find you some love. We'll see. <laughs> Honey, let me know.